the cards that came out sideways, the first card is Beetlejuice um, at a carnival. So someone could be um, a man, um, could be um, treating you like a carnival ride or um, want to play games with you like carnival games. Um, he may want to marry you or maybe an ex-husband or current husband. It could be um, someone that you are married to that is um, wants to um, keep you on like a carnival ride. This person tried to hurt you in the past. This is Beetlejuice with the um, spikes sticking out of his chest. So he may have tried to hurt you in the past or did harm you in the past. We have the shrunken head man. So um, whatever someone did to hurt you in the past is coming back to haunt them or they are suffering consequences or going to be suffering consequences for actions that they took in the past to harm you. And we have the sand monster. So this is like a tower card for me. So whatever this person did in the past to hurt you is coming back um, to swallow them whole. Um, so they may have thought they got away with something in the past, but they did not. It's coming back to bite them in the butt. <laughs> Okay, so this card came out sideways, and this is, um, he's looking out the window and watching, so someone may be currently watching you, um, seeing what you're up to, and this could be, um, this husband figure, figure, um, maybe an ex-husband or someone that wants to marry you, um, I'm getting ex-husband, so I'm getting someone that you may have been married to. And this is Otho, and it came out sideways. So someone's mask is falling off. Someone is being exposed for who they are. Um, whatever they've done in the past, it's being exposed currently. So in this card, it came out in the reverse, but the mother um, figure, which it doesn't necessarily have to be a mother, but um, this woman is being captured by their own sculpture. So someone, I look at this as someone got caught up in their own devices so they may have schemed and plotted um, and they got caught by their own trap and in this picture um he is sweating very profusely it came out in the reverse so this person who um did something malicious to hurt you in the past he's sweating and he's nervous right now and that could have something to do with the housing situation um, if you look they are looking at the model house so someone, um, this ex-husband figure could have done something to affect your housing situation. And they wanted to keep you trapped in an illusion. Um, this is the, the hall with the different doors and um, the, the door with the lost souls in it. So this person um, wanted to keep you trapped and not knowing which direction to go. And you may be patiently waiting for something, and this man, um, he's on the cow, he's trying to sell you something. So you you could be patiently waiting for um, the correct offer, but someone may be trying to sell you some bullshit because he's on a bull. And this is the part in the movie where um, he's doing the commercial um, and trying to catch the attention. So someone may be pulling a lot of stunts to get your attention, um, could be a narcissist. Someone may be upset that you are not giving them the time of day. And the house was in the upright. So um, there's a housing situation. So, I mean, it could mean that you're going to be moving into a new home. <clears throat> or that someone created a bunch of bullshit related to a home. Um, maybe they presented like you were going to get a home and it gave you false hope. Because Beetlejuice is obviously like the trickster kind of person. So ice cream cone came out and ice cream is cold. So someone could be cold as ice right now. You could be hearing news or 
um, this is a newspaper, so other people could be finding out that this ex-spouse of yours um, is actually quite cold-hearted. And I get, when I look at the bear, I think of mama bear. So um, the community could be finding out that this, um, this male figure was cold as ice to a mama bear and that he was only cared about milking them for finances. And this person is hopping towards you or at least hopping around in your energy. And I know on my end, I know it's exactly what this story is about. <laughs> okay, I thought I saw some flip over, but maybe not. There you go. Yeah. <clears throat> we had the rabbit come out so this person um may um like to have a lot of sex or maybe hopping towards you to have sex because rabbits um like to have a lot of sex they have a lot of babies um the ballerina so this person um who is cold as ice maybe hopping towards you they see you um as beautiful airplane they see you as soaring to new heights um, they may even want to take you on vacation um, and this came out in the reverse but um, someone made a mess and now they have to clean it up so someone may be trying to um, bribe you with um, a vacation or something Someone planted a lot of seeds in the past, and this caused you harm. You were injured because of whatever seeds this person planted in the past. And they thought that doing something... <clears throat> okay, so they talked a lot of turkey, and we have the butter here. So they thought they were being slick with their words, and that they thought they were going to get away with the lies that they told. But it's being brought to light. And now they are singing the blues. Um, they wanted you to be singing the blues, but they um, are getting caught up in the things that they did to you. Oops. My phone's propped up, so if I bump it, it falls. <laughs> I'm going to use some of my labyrinth cards. <clears throat> I guess I'll read these two first and then try it again. So we have a man here <clears throat> that's looking confused. And um, this one came out in the reverse. So he may look confused because he pretended to be friendly towards you. He may have even promoted himself to the community like he was trying to help you out in some way. Um, but that wasn't the case. Um, whatever he did, it caused you harm. And now he's looking confused as to how everyone is finding out the truth about him or why something isn't working out. Okay, so this goes also with the Beetlejuice card. Someone wanted you trapped in a labyrinth. They didn't want you to find your way out. They did not want you to move forward. Um, this also came out in the reverse. Um, he's also looking confused, like he maybe, maybe didn't want you to know which direction to turn. 
He may have even offered you friendship at one time and pretended to be your friend and to help you out because when this is in the upright, I look at this as someone who wants to come towards you with a friend, as a friend, um, possibly even a love offer, but it's in the reverse. So this person um, was deceptive. When he shook your hand, um, it was, um, there was bad intentions behind it. If this person did anything nice, it was only to go brag about it to the community later um to make himself look like a good person okay so with this one um it's ludo and there's a rock there and he calls on the rocks to help so this person didn't want you to be able to call on anyone for help or he may have even told people that you called him for help um, and this is, I look at this as the emperor in reverse, so this person was a tyrant, um, sadistic, um, he wanted to do things his way, narcissist, um, very controlling person. Okay, and nothing else is coming out, so, so, so far... I know it was kind of um, a rough start, I haven't used my Beetlejuice cards for a while, but there's a man, okay, just to clarify and get caught up, who wanted to keep you stuck like on a carnival ride. Um, he's watching you, the mask is falling off, um, his true nature is being exposed, he did something in the past to harm you, and whatever he did um, is coming back on him because this shrunken head man, um, he ended up reaping what he sowed, like it's karma. Um, something is coming back to him. Whatever he put out is coming back to him. And now there's a tower moment with the sandworm. Um, and he was trying to keep um, somebody trapped. And he ended up getting trapped up in his own devices. And now he's uh, sweating and nervous um, because he did something to affect your housing situation. And there's a lot of um, planting seeds and talking turkey and thinking that he was being slick. Um, he may, maybe he even told people that you slept with him, or he may even told people that you slept around because, um, this person may not necessarily want to come towards you, but maybe he told people that you slept around, um, with the rabbit card and maybe it's being brought to light that this person is a liar and everything that he said was false. He may have even, um, pretended to help you or even told people that he helped you in some way, but he did not. And if he did um, offer any sort of help, um, he definitely made it look like, um, or he may have even told people that you called him for help, which may not be true because it sounds like this person is obviously a liar to begin with. Um, just like the rabbit um, and the ballerina. So um, maybe he just wanted people to think very badly of you. What did I say? <laughs> Karma's a bitch in reverse. So, yes, the things that this person did, this male figure, it's coming back to bite him in the ass. A whole can of worms are being opened. Secrets are being exposed. The truth is coming out about what kind of person this man really is. Okay, so he didn't accomplish something in time. Um, maybe there was something that w he needed to do or, um, something didn't happen in the amount of time and it brought the karma back on to him. So maybe he told a lot of lies, he did something and wasn't able to cover his tracks, um, or he did something, um, impulsively. And we have shot in the dark and birds of a feather. So this man is working with a group of people and taking a shot in the dark. They're trying to cover their tracks right now um, to keep everything hidden. They don't want the secrets, the truth being exposed as to what they were involved with. <coughs> the links they went to to make this stuff happen. Okay, so you did something in the past to piss this person off, um, and he wants you pissed off. So this man is holding a grudge against you for some reason. Um, I'm not sure exactly what it is, but in some way you pissed this person off. 
um, you accept it. It is what it is. And, you know, you moved on from this, whatever, because it's an X um, is what I'm getting. So you're you just accepted it for what it is. But this person is doing things to put you back at square one. This um, person is intentionally um, wanting to keep you from moving forward. They want you to keep starting over and over and over and is intentionally doing things to make that happen which goes back to the housing situation. And this is causing your ancestors to roll over in their grave and his as well, um, because he has cursed his own bloodline by doing this stuff. You can't do harm to people and then expect it to be okay. That's how you bring generational curses and stuff to your families. Like you need to be careful about what you do. Someone was barking up the wrong tree, so maybe you realized, or he was barking up the wrong tree, uh, maybe when he thought he could piss you off, maybe you don't give a, a crap, maybe you just don't care um, about what this person is doing, but he is all up in your business, and whatever he did could land him in jail, whatever he did, if you affect someone's housing situation, that is illegal, and that is actually a federal crime. And now this person is in their worst nightmare because they know that something is coming for it, for them. Like, um, they know that they're going to reap what they have sown. Karma, however you look at it, it means the same thing. And they are angry at you. They are angry because they were beating a dead horse. They couldn't beat you. So this person, this male figure, is pissed off that they couldn't beat you. And I don't know why they felt like it was a competition when someone is an ex, you move forward. That is my little um, cup of love, cup of wisdom. Um, when you break up with someone and split up, get divorced. You move on with your life. You don't intentionally try to make the other person's life hell for the rest of their life. And especially if you have children involved. So fly the coop is in reverse. So you flew the coop with this person. He does not have access to you. Um, he may be thinking of you. Um, and having memories of you since um, you are no longer with this person. Or it, maybe they flew the coop. Depends on who left who, I guess. And they are left missing you. So they may have left, and um, now they're having memories of you, and they're missing you, and you are going forward. But this person is a loose cannon. They have a very short temper, and they are unpredictable, so be careful. Um... I'm getting a very strong, immature energy. It doesn't matter what age, very, very strongly immature. <clears throat> but something didn't go the way they planned, silver lining. So whatever plan they had planned out, there was no silver lining, lining because they're losing more than what they gained. They didn't gain anything by doing this, and people are seeing them for who they are. And now people are starting to see things your way. Um, they're starting to see eye to eye with you, and that you are the boss, that you are not a shady person, um, you are respectable and, um, and possibly a leadership position. And maybe that's why this man holds a grudge against you. Maybe, <laughs> maybe he's a jealous male, you never know. I mean, who knows? Um, you have the ability to think outside the box, you're creative. Um, and love is blind in reverse so maybe you were blinded by love in the past and didn't see this person for who they was um <clears throat> and maybe um you had to get creative about how to expose the truth <laughs> about this person I, I don't know whether you did or didn't okay so this person was involved with a third party. So maybe this person lied and said that you cheated on them and left them, but they were the one that was actually involved in a third party situation. And they were trying to um, keep you blind to that fact and the community blind to that fact. So, that's where it works. so they may have said that you cheated and slept around, but they were actually the ones in fact involved in a third party situation. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, 
someone is throwing a Hail Mary pass there in the 11th hour. They're trying to figure out what to do because everyone's finding out that this person is a bold-faced liar. Everything that this person is is being exposed and you have laid down the law with this person or the law could be getting involved or both. Um, you have to have clear boundaries with this person because they feel like they are above the law and that they can do whatever they want. They feel like they don't have to follow the law. And that's the true nature of narcissists. The rules just don't apply to them. Money to burn in the reverse. Um, they didn't want you to have any money. They didn't want you to have any money. And for some reason, they felt like if you did have extra money, they felt entitled to it. Even though you were not still with this person, they feel like whatever money you have, um, they, they are entitled to it. And that doesn't make sense to me, but that's... I guess if you're not a narcissist, you can't fully understand how they think. So don't step on anyone's toes. So this person um, may uh, be trying to tread carefully. Um, not to step on anyone else's toes or your toes at the moment because you may have the power to put them in jail um beggars can't be choosers maybe they wanted you to come begging back to them so maybe um what i'm getting is is they wanted you to come begging back to them so maybe they left you in the past and they expected you to chase them and that didn't happen and um or actually you know what maybe you don't care to step on anyone's toes maybe that's your energy because that's what i'm feeling for me because it doesn't make sense with with what was being said so you know what i'll take this as my energy i don't care to step on anyone's toes as long as the truth comes out and i sure as hell didn't go back and begging like my ex narc thought i would so that's the way I'm going to take it, because that's my energy, so. <clears throat> this person is a bottomless pit. Um, no matter how much this person gets, they will never be satisfied. They will always want more. They are a greedy person. A dark and stormy night. So this person um, wanted you to be stuck in a dark and stormy night. And now they're stuck between a rock and a hard place. And they're going for broke. Um, and don't burn your bridges. So um, you may have burnt bridges with this person. Um, someone's going broke. Someone is broke, stuck between a rock and a hard place. And someone needs to be careful about not burning their bridges. Whatever this person did to you, um, they really should apologize because if they burn this bridge with you um, and this all comes out and you are called to testify in court, um, they may just throw the book at this person for what they've done to you. Especially if you use the justice system to fight against somebody or, you know, um, you know, in my case... A lot of people try to use the justice system and lie, so um, be careful about what bridges you burn because that stuff comes back to bite you in the butt. <clears throat> and I also know that, um, so going for broke, this person could also be going from person to person um, trying to get them to turn against you, and they may be burning bridges with this person, so he is actually burning bridges with people Um by losing his temper and being frustrated when they don't conform to his way of thinking. So this person is actually burning bridges at the moment. This person may be infected with something. Um, your life may be stranger than fiction. Um, the things that have happened to you may be so strange that people may not actually believe it. But you set yourself free. You are liberated um, from this abusive person and it's beat on the brat. That's what came out. And it doesn't have to necessarily be physical. Um, narcs, uh, narcs slash narcissists thrive on manipulation and control. And they can be extremely emotionally and verbally abusive. Um, 
if this person is trying to affect your housing situation and you are not together, what is the purpose of that? I mean, I, I just don't understand. I really don't. This person feels incomplete. <clears throat> um, darkness at the heart of my love. So they may still have feelings for you. They'll never admit it. Um, because they want you to come crawling back to them, but you didn't do that. This person has a dark past. Um, their secrets that they, they do not want to expose. This person may be a mama's boy. Um, so, I mean, even if their mother has passed away, um, it could still be, they could have been a mama's boy. Um, angels fall. So this person is a fallen angel. Um, maybe they were good at one time, but... Their true nature is, is being revealed. They're, they're dark at heart. Um, the darkness at the heart of my love. This person is dark at heart. So they may have appeared to be an angel, but they are not. And so the truth is coming out about this person. So my final thought, cup of love, cup of wisdom. Um, when you're in a relationship with somebody, move forward. <laughs> move on with your life. Um, because if your intentions are to cause someone harm, um, it's going to catch up to you. Uh, what, what you do in darkness will always be brought to light and it will always come out in the end and your true nature will always be revealed. Okay. So always stay in the upright, do things with always a cup of love and maintain your integrity in everything you do. Okay. Hope this helps. Enjoy your day.